How to calculate p-value in SPSS. Are you struggling to understand how to calculate the p-value in SPSS? Let's break it down step by step so you can easily follow along. First, you need to have your data correctly entered into SPSS. This might seem obvious, but it's the foundation of everything you'll do next. Once your data is in, you'll need to choose the right statistical test based on what you're trying to analyze. If you're comparing means between two groups, you'll use the Independent Samples t-test. To do this, go to the Analyze menu, select Compare Means, and then choose Independent Samples t-test. Here, you'll move your dependent variable into the Test Variable S box and your Group variable into the Grouping Variable box. Define your groups and click OK. SPSS will then display the results, including the p-value, which tells you if the differences between the group means are statistically significant. For comparing means across three or more groups, you'll use the one-way ANOVA. Navigate to Analyze, then Compare Means, and select one-way ANOVA. Place your dependent variable in the dependent list and your factor variable in the factor box. Click OK to run the test, and the output will include the ANOVA table with the p-value indicating if there are significant differences between the group means. If you need to calculate a p-value for a specific f-value and degrees of freedom, you can use the transform and compute functions in SPSS. Go to transform and compute variable, where you can use the significance f function. Input your f-value and degrees of freedom, and SPSS will create a new variable with the calculated p-value. In all these tests, the p-value is crucial. It tells you the probability of observing your results, or more extreme, if the null hypothesis is true. A p-value less than 0.05 is generally considered statistically significant, meaning the data is unlikely under the null hypothesis. Remember, SPSS can round very small p-values to 000, so if you see this, double-click on the p-value to see the exact number. By following these steps, you'll be able to calculate and interpret p-values in SPSS with ease, helping you make informed decisions about your research hypotheses.